why a tiered pricing approach can increase profitability, and how to approach implementing it. If you currently only have one product price then you, like many companies, should consider implementing a tiered pricing structure. This is often referred to as the good, better, and best pricing model, where good is an entry-level option, better is your standard pricing, which you will already have, and best is a premium offer. So why are tiers important, and how can you use them to maximize your profitability? While in concept, good, better, and best pricing is a simple tiered pricing strategy. In reality, implementing this approach to pricing successfully needs careful thought. There are three main ways that tiered pricing can be exploited to yield higher profit levels. First is by maximizing sales revenue through adding a new premium pricing tier. Second is sticking to your guns. And third is by exploiting trends in consumer behaviors. So to explain. Firstly, let's discuss maximizing sales revenue through adding tiered pricing offers. There are two main ways that a premium pricing option can help grow revenue. Firstly, the creation of a new premium product offering can not only persuade existing customers to upgrade and spend more, it can also, secondly, attract new higher spending customers who prefer purchasing premium products. Conversely, by creating a low priced offering, this will open your product to price sensitive customers for whom your current standard offer is out of reach. This will not only reduce the need to offer discounts on your existing product offer, it will also attract additional revenue from any complementary services. Now, let's discuss how sticking to your guns can be beneficial. This approach is commonly used when a lower price competitor enters your market, while your immediate reaction may be to lower your prices to match the new challenger. To avoid losing existing customers, this is often a mistake. By lowering your price, all customers will be paying a reduced price. If you stick to your guns, while you may lose a small number of your customers to the new entrant, 90% or more of your customers will likely still pay full price. The entry-level tiered pricing strategy can be used to justify your standard pricing based on tier differential via product features. Many who may have been swayed, now see beyond simply price, and see the value you are providing through feature comparison. Finally, Let's look at how you can exploit trends in consumer behavior to maximize profitability. All purchases are made via human thought. Everybody prefers to have choices when it comes to purchasing, as we like to feel we have power over our decisions. By having a tiered pricing model, with three potential options, this gives your customers a sense of empowerment, and often leads to customers purchasing the better or best option, as they perceive the good or entry-level option to be of reduced value. So. How do you actually decide what each pricing tier consists of? When considering a tiered pricing structure, the first decision is how many product versions to offer. As the good, better, best name implies, the most common number is three. Typically companies will put their current product and feature set as better, subtracting features for good, and adding features to create a best version. Alternatively to features, with software as a service, or SaaS, products, Pricing tiers are increasingly differentiated based on consumption limits, with data usage being increasingly a key differentiating factor. The next decision is which product features can be added, removed, or varied to create different perceptions of value. When deciding features, for each feature answer these questions. Is it perceived as important by the customer? If not it is not going to differentiate. What impact on the cost of producing the product does the feature have? either if it is added or removed. This will feed into your pricing decision. And does it help create a barrier preventing your existing customers from downgrading or selecting a cheaper product elsewhere? To avoid buyer confusion you need to have a consistent approach to features or consumption limits across your tiers, and a common sweet spot is to only have a maximum of four features that differ between tiers. Consistency is also important with the final consideration pricing. However, this product attribute is likely to be the most flexible after launch, as pricing can be easier to amend and fine-tune once actual buying behaviors are analyzed. If possible, use existing customers, research groups, data, and experts to road test your tiers before launching. If you have a simple product it may not be possible to add multiple tiers. However wherever possible, if a good or best tier can be added, you are likely to increase both the size of your potential market and your bottom line profit.
Scale to Grow has been formed specifically to help business owners and managers overcome the challenges of growth, enabling you to scale up your business faster, more effectively, and more profitably. For any questions or queries, contact Scale to Grow today.